Hey folks, Dave here, and I am back with another Fallout 4 settlement tour, and Joel's back too. For more commentary. <laughs> Mostly against your will, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I thoroughly enjoy this. And just for all you listeners out there, viewers, whatever, uh, Dave meticulously gets all this loot. Like, he uses oh, yeah. mods so that he can expand, like, his town, like, with memory limits, because the game has default stuff. Which makes sense, so that you have a smooth playing <laughs> experience. <laughs> but Dave pushes everything to the limits, but he literally glutes everything, crafts, moves all this stuff, piece by effing piece. I've told him he should just do a code and just give him like a crap ton of loot, a ton of wood and stuff like that. I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> I'm too far gone, Joel. I'm looking <laughs> at like Pitbull here. I've collected 22,000 items now. I've spent... 55,000 caps on mostly crafting supplies <laughs> and I've handcrafted 7,200 items <laughs> one by one. And so I'm doing this commentary because without this, I mean, it would just play not be interesting, but Dave would go on for 20 <laughs> days. He would go on for 20 days talking about everything. So I got I to gotta ground him a little bit. <laughs> this is actually how I how I stopped working on the settlements too, is when I show them to you, I'm basically done with them. <laughs> Okay, so last time we looked at Fortress Sanctuary, and I think your only real call out, Joel, was that I needed like a vetting process. Dave, 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 for... don't, don't go over there. <laughs> stay on target, stay on target, <laughs> stay on target. <laughs> I don't want to, I've seen it, I've seen it enough. <laughs> you said that I needed a, a vetting process. I have a yes. nice settlement, but you said that I needed a way to kind of figure out who the bad guys are before I let them into Sanctuary. So going off of your suggestion, Joel, what I have created here is what I'm calling the Red Rocket Detention Center. And it's a place where we can filter out uh, unwanted settlers like yourself. Basically hire you to keep the other bad guys out. We want to make sure, you know, you don't have people who are going to secretly, you know, take over your place, you know, one by one and find out your secrets and stuff. And holy crap, that's pretty tall. That's pretty cool. Did you add that light right there? Is that your, is that the light? Was that light already there or no? I can't remember. Of course what not. <laughs> what is that thing? It's a uh, coolant oh, it's the, it's like. The, it's the, oh, it's the gas station thing, right? It's the sign, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is actually walk you through how a new settler who would want to come to Sanctuary would uh, go through the interview process. Oh, I got some surprises for you, Joel. Here we go. <laughs> So everyone at the Red Rocket Detention Center is wearing a uniform. Uh, people who are wearing the militia hats are uh, Minutemen who are helping to guard the facility. Settlers who are wearing the blue postman hats are guards who only work at this facility. And this is the main entrance. <laughs> of course, like all my settlements, there are turrets that carefully watch over everything. Now, do you make sure the people who work here, they also live here as well? Oh, yeah, for sure. There's actually uh, staff quarters that we'll get to later. Uh, I do want people who are guarding the prison to actually be on station all the time. But for now, this is the waiting center. If you've come to do an interview for settling at Sanctuary. And look, Joel, the Nuka-Cola machine actually has Nuka-Cola in it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm learning. <laughs> So let's say that you've come and you want to join the settlement. Let's head on in and ask for our interview. <laughs> this is the reception area. <laughs> <laughs> you got the handcuffs. Notice the two layers of security on the door. You got your water cooler, your clock. Wait, a nice so you just do you pen. just leave handcuffs on there? Like a person could just grab those and like handcuff someone else. I mean, that'd be a sure, move, but. Yeah, you're, you're welcome to, <laughs> and then get shot by a thousand turrets. <laughs> you know how it works in Fallout and all Elder Scrolls games, Joel? You steal something, everything kills you instantly. <laughs> they know. They always know. <laughs> so you can uh, request your interview here. you got your you know folder, some notes, some paperwork, a camera, and a bell you can ring for service. A few chairs there for waiting, but mostly you know, you're going to wait out here until you're called. I just realized you put two chairs for that, for the, the red chairs out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. And this leads back to the cell areas, which we'll get to in what just in a the bit. World? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know you can make all this crap. So let's say that you're called for your interview, right? And you want it to be a dramatic entrance. We're trying to make an impression here. We've got our nice Minutemen statue, some lights on it. This is where 
You actually work, Joel. The interview room. You have two doors? What are the two doors for, Dave? Uh, it's two layers of security. I noticed that there was no glass. This is actually part of the model. Uh, you know, it's been 200 years, the glass is gone. That won't do, that's not secure. So I added a second security layer. <laughs> to <cover that> up. <laughs> I glitched it in the wall. It took forever to get it lined up. Oh my gosh. This, Joel, is your interview desk. This is where you interview settlers who want to join Sanctuary or any of the other Minutemen settlements, I'd imagine. I like how I'm teasing them with like a Nuka Cherry over there on the left. If you're good, <laughs> I'll give you that in a lunchbox. <laughs> you, you know, when they come in for the interview, you gotta make it dramatic. When their number is called, you hit the big red button. <laughs> <laughs> come on in. You know, we want to be pretty welcoming, right? But still, you want them to realize that this is serious business. Gotta close it back up for the interview. Dramatic door seal. <laughs> I like how I have a compass. That's totally me. That's a pocket watch. Oh, sorry, it's a pocket watch. Yeah, it's like a compass for a second. Um, and we'll get to this later, but this is a control panel where you can lock down, uh, at least in my imagination, the entire compound in case of attack. <laughs> at least I was like, can you actually do that? <laughs> in my imagination, there it is. <laughs> you got your, uh, your musket in the display case, Minuteman flag, and some, you know, different but what, storage areas. why do I areas. have this right here while I interview people? They can, they the can musket? grab that. It's not loaded. Yeah. You can load it, though. Well... Like, you're going to interview random people and you're just going to have a gun sitting there? Or yes, glass it's... bottles that they can break in half and stab me in the neck? <laughs> They've got whiskey, <laughs> vodka, <laughs> glass of water. Look at that heavy metal trash ash can. They can take that and bash me over the head. Uh, why don't I... Dave, I should have turrets in this room. <laughs> <laughs> in the room? Well, we don't want to be that that aggressive <laughs> okay uh you do have a, your floor safe right here that i added which is full of guns and ammo so your choice what you want to pull out okay and i mean your your character joel you keep a submachine gun on you at all times anyway <laughs> okay well, I feel a little bit better i mean you don't know me 100 percent, dave but you know you're, you're kind of getting there this is still dave's office <laughs> this is this is Joel restrained by uh by dave okay this is this is not full on joel open it back up here do you want to see full-on joel joel yes, yes i do because <laughs> i don't see like i'm like you i don't trust wastelanders i want you to imagine joel though for this room right here like say you have like kids coming in or a family like you want it to be somewhat welcoming right you've got guns ready including your microphone right here uh for calling for help over the intercom okay <laughs> <We're going> for... <laughs> <laughs> let's say though the, the, the folder you get, the background check comes back from all the other Minutemen settlements, and turns out you've got a raider on your hands, right? Wait, wait, who's doing the background? Who's doing the background checks? The network of provisioners all across the uh, the wasteland, Joel, of course. I thought this was the first section they go to, Dave. <laughs> no, that that's right here, Joel. And also notice the Tommy gun behind the desk. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is where the radio reports come in with the background checks. Hence the, the pen, the paper, the folder. Okay. I guess that's cash, okay. so you can pay for rush processing. <laughs> <laughs> Staying on target, though, if you want to yeah. see the Joel room, let's just assume the background check comes back poorly. You've got a, a, a former raider on your hands, right? You think it's time for some enhanced interrogation? Enhanced interviewing? Yeah. Okay. Let's head out of the gate here. We're going to go past our Minuteman statue. And out here in the corner of the uh, detention facility, we have what appears to be a tool shed, right? It's pretty good sized. Restricted area, employees only, tools. A barrel. Good size, but... <laughs> Did you put the barrel there, Dave? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this, Joel. If you had a facility, Joel, where you did your enhanced interrogations, what would you call the facility? Like, this is not just a tool shed. What, what is this facility we're about to walk into? Probably Joel's shack of fun. So they all think like they're going to have happy times as soon as they have everything. <laughs> their entire, their jaw drops. Like, their Let's hopes look inside. Die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I see that in the back right. <laughs> it's my tortured prison. <laughs> This is where the enhanced interviews take place. <laughs> Notice how 
all of the walls are soundproof. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, to help contain the screaming. <laughs> yeah, why do we have a pleasant beach portrait? That's great. <laughs> to give them a tiny whiff of hope before getting <laughs> electrocuted with by batteries. You like that battery oh right God. there, Joel? <laughs> yeah. Let's look at the, the interview tools. table. Back here on the interview <laughs> table, you have some med axe, some mentats, a saw, some wrenches, screwdriver, some antifreeze, duct tape, Man. scissors. And then that, like, you know, the little water fire, or the little, like, eye cleaner thing. That's, like, reverse waterboarding. Well, I mean, you have the shower head, too. It's just to wash all the blood right down through the floor, just in case. Yeah, yeah Joel, this is your uh, enhanced interview facility. Medical scanner. What, what, what is that on the right? That's a medical scanner thing of some kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's to check their vitals after you torture them for 10 hours. <laughs> Make sure and they're awake just enough to feel more pain. The great part is too, Joel, we're going to run into you, like literally you in game here eventually. Like you're, you're somewhere walking around <laughs> creepily. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's your uh, enhanced interrogation facility. Ooh, I kind of wish the turret I had right outside. I can, oh, <laughs> nice. Nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I wish, Dave, is that it was bigger. Like, I, there's only one person I can torture at one time. <laughs> well, I, that's, that, that's the, the active interrogation room. There's holding facilities, don't you worry. <laughs> Should we go there next, Joel? The holding facilities? Yes, that sounds exciting. <laughs> there's three levels of holding facilities. <laughs> I just want this place to have rumors that from Sanctuary that they're like, those are those guys actually with us? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't ever really completely feel safe coming over here. So let's say that uh, your background check comes back pretty good. You're waiting to be processed, and you're waiting to be accepted into the settlement. You get the nice quarters, the initial cell rooms here. It's not too bad. I mean, you're in a cell. Let's not. Let's not uh, beat around the bush here, but you've Did got you put clean every sheets. one of those chairs. Everything. Yeah, dude, this this is this was empty. I mean, the posters are there from the gas station, but <laughs> teddy bear, <laughs> everything, the tables. <laughs> if your background check comes back good, maybe you have a family with you, bringing the kids with you. You get the nice facility, right? You've got a nice clean shower. You've got some privacy curtains, a nice new toilet. Um, it, you know, it's a cell, but it, it's not bad, right? Just a little bit crowded. Yeah. This is also the uh, kind of cafeteria for the entire uh, holding cell. So <laughs> people are trying to sleep. Stop making coffee. It's so loud. <laughs> it is still prison. So you know, you got some food and drink and games and whatnot. It's not terrible. Um, you get your radio and trash barrel, some heating. Oh, I thought that was an air conditioner. That thing was kind of. Uh, it's definitely a radio added a clock and we'll come back to this or you know what let's go ahead and do this see this door right here Joel I, I've added this door if this is the first tier of the holding cells this is the third tier this is super max <laughs> <laughs> you have two doors again too of course this is where the uh, the troublemakers go the raiders the gunners people who are causing trouble it's pretty crappy. <laughs> you chose the crappy toilet, didn't you? Of course. Well, I'd imagine that someone who was kept in here probably helped damage it too. Jerks. No respect for personal property. Um, and the two doors are actually to help soundproof the room. Because, uh, you know, the nice cells are right outside. Don't want to disturb anyone who's out there with all of the Wait, and, and, and the people that live outside, how are they held in? Like, you call it a cell, but I don't remember seeing... Oh, what, out here? Yeah. We're... The initial door, it's, it's a oh, cell I guess, door. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess I missed that. So, th those people who are in the initial cell, they're allowed to go get food and stuff like that? Yeah. Access yeah. to the kitchen? No, notice, however, it is a screened cell okay. door. So, it's not we necessarily have... like to keep people in. It's, it's, I mean, it's to keep people in, but it's like to say, hey, you're being vetted. We need a few more days to process to make sure you're good. Stay yeah, here. yeah. It's like okay. it's like jail, like minimum security yeah, yeah. jail. Like, the prisoners are in charge <laughs> of some of their own stuff. It sucks for those people because they're like right beside the actual murderers and stuff that are like <laughs> in the next room. <laughs> That's why it's double sealed, though. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the children you know, can fall asleep to the sounds of murderers screaming. 
the room soundproofed. And of course, we have medication and all to keep them compliant. <laughs> oh, good. Don't forget, you're in charge of this. I make sure that our guests are comfortable. You make sure that the troublemakers stay quiet. <laughs> You don't you don't visit here very often. <laughs> you, you don't like <laughs> it. I also love that in the Supermax cell, this poster was just on the wall. <laughs> Join or die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's, you know, that's the first rate cells, the third level cells. Outside, we have an extra outdoor bathing area, the shower head and bathtub, and also the second level of cells. Whoa, They're not whoa, whoa, Supermax. Why, why do you have that door right there? What, right here? No, 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 go back into the main the main holding area. I feel like that is a, that's a weak point right there, Dave. Because if you're trying to hold people, they should go out the other door. Yeah, so, Joel. Like, when would they ever Joel, need to go out Joel, this door, Dave? Joel, <laughs> come on. You know better. This door is here because it leads out into the courtyard of the prison. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's a surprise. That's my Dave. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, wait a second. I'm like, why would you ever need a second door for the... <laughs> of course you have It's a even got a barbed wire. Out. Come on, Joel. <laughs> Too <course> easy. <laughs> <laughs> so in the corner here, you've got your shower head and bathtub for oh, that's horrible. extra shower facilities. And this is, you know, not super max cells right here. It's not super comfortable, right? It's really bare bones. Uh, no extra food or games. Just simple. You know, bare mattresses, kind of cold, I'd imagine, too. <laughs> Lots of steel. Uh, it's just just a nice holding area. And, of course, as you've kind of already seen, you've got <laughs> the full courtyard here. And the prisoners are responsible for some of their own food. We've got uh, some plants here. It's like uh, some melons and whatnot <laughs> through the basketball or the melon through the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there's some carrots over here. Yeah, some carrots and a, a water pump. I mean, this is the apocalypse. Like, there's no government assistance for this prison. They're in charge of at least some of their own food production, you know? Yeah. Or they starve and die. I mean, there is a prison garden run by the Minuteman. We're not, we're not monsters. We'll get to that, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to keep dialing back in because I'm always like, don't work, you don't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, and this oh, is the this dining is cool. area. Yeah, also sealed in for extra security. This could also be like a lockdown area. So if the lockdown alarm sounds, let's just say that, you know, all of these different doorways lock shut uh, and everyone is just trapped where they are. So if it gets attacked and overrun, they're really screwed. <laughs> so it's like shoot right to the bars. An extra outhouse for the outdoor cells. Wait, does that door work? Yeah, it just does. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and your crystal sink. Wait 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 wait. Turn around. Did you put that mat under the kitchen? Under? Did you put those down? <laughs> of course. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's head back out this way. Whoa! She just drew her rifle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she thought you were an inmate. <laughs> oh, she put it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's our prisoner area. As you can see, there's lights and uh, barbed wire and railings across the entire thing. The Minutemen and the turrets are always watching. There's really no way out. <laughs> this is such a good surprise. I was like, I got you, Dave. <laughs> and, and, Did you think yeah. they would have a doors open to the outside, Joel? You could just the prisoners could just open and close at will. No, that's for lockdowns. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna head on out this way and we're gonna go to the staff only areas and I'm gonna actually enter them from back here um, we'll head into the catwalks we've got some supply gathering points here trouble, I hope. and a lit hallway that leads to the uh, the catwalks and that's one of our guards here in the cap she's got her sniper rifle ready to put down a revolt <laughs> um, this guy right here, he actually showed up to the settlement yes. wearing this outfit. Oh, easy there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> With all that, like, bare chest and, like, leather and the cowboy hat, I was just like, yeah, he's going on the mortar. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready to rock and roll. I don't know what he's doing with that pistol, though. I've kind of built, like, a little courtyard here for the mortar. That provides artillery support down into, um, uh, what is the town next to this? Concord, right? I think? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, 
and then also back to Sanctuary. And I'll show you where it comes uh, from the front here. This is the front staff entrance. Doors kept okay, closed nice. and locked. Um, looks pretty cool from down here. I love how the guards do actually patrol. They get stuck on crap constantly, but most of the time it works pretty well. That pleases Go back you, inside here. What did you say? That pleases you that they like explore around and patrol. They'll actually like patrol and oh, look at that. <laughs> That's right. You you patrol that perimeter. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, some storage shelves and staff eating area here. Plenty of guard towers to overlook the main entrance. Remember that where we first came in. Mm -hmm. You can see some of uh, Sanctuary back there. We've got our game table right here. <laughs> it's for, for downtime. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that a generator right there? Yeah, this is the backup generator. Uh, protected on the ground floor by some uh, some canvas works and some those containers. Candles? Uh, Joel, literally everything you see that's not the base gas what, station. What was like, the reason roof, for those candles? I need to know. I needed a light for maintenance work on the generator, and I was out of copper for lights, so I had some oil. I put some candles down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Carrying on. This is the first access route for the catwalks, which, as you can see, go across the entire gas station. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, we actually oh my gosh. we looted Vault 111 and ripped out some of the catwalks. Sucked to be those guys transporting these monstrosities. Is this like did you actually loot it out or is this like your immersion? This is this is my immersion. Okay, got it. okay. <laughs> also, the slow walk. Uh, the catwalks completely surround the prison courtyard, and we have guard outposts and turrets, of course, everywhere. To watch the perimeter and there's Concord right there actually I love that I can actually like I've actually sniped a raider Joel like from the catwalk of the prison and it pleased me greatly <laughs> he was like down in the down in the town shooting and I just sniped him how long did you just sit there and go oh that was so worth it <laughs> I just I stood there and slowly worked the bolt <laughs> <laughs> there's actually two layers of walls here too we have the concrete walls with the barbed wire, and then also an additional uh, metal wall under parts of the catwalk, just for extra reinforcement. Dave, this is ridiculous. Like, like right, it, 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 it almost hurts me thinking, like, if I had to do this, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it was cool for a second. He was patrolling the catwalk, and then he walked right through it. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> so the catwalks lead over here, and this is leading to our staff area. This is where we do all of our work on the armors, on the weapons. Um, this is the emergency attack siren. I'm not going to hit it, though, this time because all the guards freak out. Let's go check out the catwalks, though. This is our, our observation deck at the top of the Red Rocket gas station. Oh, Everything's got, cool. you know, railings and uh, whatnot. And this is the watch officer's desk right here, whoever's in charge of the watch at the moment. It's a little desk. He's got some tools, his Tommy gun, some ammo. I love all the weapons and everything you placed precisely on the table. <laughs> one by one. And let's not forget, every okay, single I, one of those... Okay, what's the key for? What's the key for, Dave? The key? Yeah. Oh, did you, did you see the key? Yes, I saw the key. I want to know what Notice it called. has the rocket for Red Rocket. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> it's the master key for the facility. Always held by the watch officer. <laughs> cool, it's not being held right now. Yeah, well, he, he, he fell through right the floor. In. Oh, okay. <laughs> he fell through the floor. <laughs> time to get a new yeah, watch the, officer. The AI has a really hard time with the pathfinding up here, as you might imagine. Like, I really can't complain too much. Yeah, but, yeah. There's heavy laser turrets all the way down, watching every angle. Wait, did you put him? How did you get that up there, Dave? The shelf? It actually just managed to attach right to the rocket, and I figured that was a cool place to stash some ammo and some rockets. <laughs> oh, that sunburst. Mm. <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the top observation deck, and the cool part about it is like you can actually see all the way over to, I think it's loading part of the cell for Sanctuary. You can actually see a few of my custom objects over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's the crappy low-res buildings, though. <laughs> it's not loading all of it. 
if it loaded everything, it, your computer would be crashed. Yeah, I'm already getting like 28 FPS if I look that direction. Wow. It'll look too fast this way. So there's more do turrets. Do you think you'll ever uh, start optimizing Sanctuary so that it's higher FPS just a after you've, you know, played it a while and that you don't want to mess around with the FPS or no? Or that would uh, just hurt you? When I'm in Sanctuary itself, it actually runs no less than 35, which is, it's fine. Like, uh, I still go back and forth from it. It never crashes unless I install too many mods past this, so I'm actually very happy with it. <laughs> I love going back to Sanctuary and, like, scrapping weapons and stuff. It's It's awesome. It's that having a home base, ah, oh, it pleases me. <laughs> All of these catwalks come down like this, and I'll show you just how this connects right here. Um, I've got this catwalk that goes down, and that's where the uh, the staff area is. Oh, oh Joel, it's you. Yeah. What? Look at this. You were you were drinking a drink. I'd like to trade some. <laughs> got a little <laughs> goatee going on. You like you like your outfit there, Joel. Your your trench coat and hat. <laughs> Am I the guy that like comes at the start of the game and like? You. I think it's his clothes. I found them like just on a raider. I think I don't know where I found these clothes, but yeah. Ooh, you see that look you just gave me, Joel? <laughs> Non-threatening and suddenly eye contact. Ooh, don't mess with that guy. <laughs> but yeah, there's a little uh, some benches here for resting, some snacks and drinks. As this guy was, well, as this is Joel, as Joel was just enjoying. Because <laughs> I'm sitting and on everybody's bench. I'm going to have to use free cam to show you this, Joel, but notice the platform right here, like the catwalk, yeah. right? Yeah. I placed it by bringing the stairs up from this platform, but then as you can see from this staircase right here, it was too tall, right? So you know how I fixed it? Oh. One of the mods that I added, I'm going to free cam here, adds structural supports you can actually glitch place. So I actually went in, and I added structural supports to hold the balcony up, because <laughs> it wasn't the right height. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, and I'll show you just the other way to get up from this side. Um, I'll hop down right here. You see, I've of course, added some custom support poles there. Everything has to be held up correctly. Unlike, you know, Minecraft. Um, <laughs> this is the other staff entrance. Employees only. These doors are usually kept locked. And as a and when you say kept locked, you mean version locked. <laughs> in my imagination, they're kept locked. In reality, my settlers are stupid and just open everything. <laughs> and that leads up. Oh, debt lighting. Mm. Just look at the Minuteman statue, Joel. Just look at it, would you? It's so glorious. <laughs> Dave, the Minuteman... Th these people are becoming, like, your people, aren't they? Like, you now have, they are like, my people. an invested interest in this now. Oh, here's the sheriff. Dude, he's got his pistol yeah. out. <laughs> he senses danger. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks around with that pistol out constantly. That Tactical hat. 44. What a huge for that hat. <laughs> he's got to wear his police hat, you know? He's the sheriff. <laughs> this is the staff barracks right here. Um, the storage open, so we'll go in from this side. But that probably doesn't hold ice. It probably just holds like that other stuff. What? I mean, I guess we have electricity, so yeah, I guess we have ice. We're drinking lots of cold drinks out here. Yeah, yeah. Got an ice machine. Got some nice decorations. An almost undamaged carpet. Does somebody have a pet in here? Uh, there's no dog yet. I'm, I'm waiting to find the person who sells the dogs to send one here. Because I want guard dogs to patrol the perimeter. <laughs> um, someone left their hollow tape out. Did you actually put that there? <laughs> Joel, everything you see, I put. <laughs> I know. I keep everything's placed by hand. They're gonna lose some demerits on their cleaning check-in. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you would have a cleaning check-in. Gosh, I would never want to live in this area with you, Dave. They'd be like, five fifteen. Everybody, form up. <laughs> Get your weapons lockers now, here. Extra ammo. <laughs> some medical supplies. There's no full medical facility, seeing Sanctuary has one, but there is a medic on station. I just haven't seen her walking around yet. Um, got a fireplace to heat the facility, and I'll show you later. I actually added the chimney for it. <laughs> some cooking areas here. Someone what has is a little that? bit of like omelet. Egg souffle. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an omelet of some kind. <laughs> a lot of omelet. Uh, this is where the food is prepared, both for the prisoners and for the staff. And. Take note of this shopping basket. That's to help gather the vegetables from the garden. 
which I will show you here shortly. <laughs> also, Bloatfly looks disgusting even when cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, in Sanctuary, do you have a master key as well? <laughs> On my desk. You do? <laughs> it's the bobblehead. You need to pro you need to have a master override on all the uh, stage, because I realized you won't be attacked from the outside. You're going to be attacked from the inside, from your own people, who get annoyed at you with doing all the regulations. <laughs> I'd imagine that I have like an emergency <laughs> shutdown switch on my pit boy where my turrets just kill everyone, and I just start yeah, like, over Yeah, you would again. need that, because people would be like, I just Kill me, this guy, regulations and the rules and his immersion. <laughs> the patrols and the walls and the, <laughs> I know, I know. the bed checks. <laughs> <laughs> the bed checks. So I'm going to come off of the uh, the catwalk system here. Oh, of course, we have a bell to ring for lunchtime and for meals for the prisoners <laughs> really? overlooking their really? courtyard. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, gosh. You okay with that, Joel? Oh, man, you so funny. Uh, oh, here's the here's the yeah. medic right here for the prison. <laughs> she looks terrifying. Awesome. Another overlook into the what courtyard. What does she have on? It kind of looks like a. What is that? I actually don't know. Um, oh. Pretty cool. <laughs> Moonwalk away. Yes. <laughs> she actually showed up in this, and I was like, "Oh, you're the medic. <laughs> Congratulations." <laughs> I gave her the Minuteman hat and called it a day. He's just stabbing everyone with stim pack. Down here we have the access to the uh, the main gardens. Got when you water, say main gardens, corn. yes, oh, like as like the other gardens that for the prisoners. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was like, do you have three gardens? Holy crap! Yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, it's the largest one. Yeah. Uh, this is the tool area. I love the lighting from that fire barrel. Um, got some tools, some baskets, some fertilizer bags. What else do we have over here? How do you how do you think of all this? Like I would think like I'd make a I'd make a main garden. I'd be like that's cool. I'd maybe put some tools, but I don't think I would think of like like feed or <laughs> I don't I, I don't think I would think of that. Like I would just be like oh that's cool that's a garden now. <laughs> yeah, notice the baskets again, Joel. It's for yeah. them to gather up the vegetables and take up to the kitchen. <laughs> Dave, if there was ability to gather grocery like the uh, vegetables into the baskets and bring it up, you would do that. <laughs> Slowly while slow walking. <laughs> yeah, sold a little basket. This is the uh, the staff shower room, and because of all the water from the showers, we're actually having a bit of a weed problem back here, in our storage area. As you can see, they're getting a little out of control. <laughs> and we have the staff bathrooms. A lantern for some nighttime reading. Uh, and this is also just kind of uh, extra storage for the uh, for the facility. Got some shelves and some lockers, and uh, while we were dragging the catwalks out of Vault 111, I grabbed that cool-looking trunk. <laughs> we got our uh, little break table here for all the gardeners. That's awesome. That's our, our well-protected back garden. And I'll show you where this comes out. This comes out with another secured door right here at the interview room. Nice. And I think that about covers it for the Red Rocket Detention Center. <laughs> It's my frame rates erode looking back at it. <laughs> oh no, Joel, I almost forgot. What? Go in the supply entrance. <laughs> what do we have in the kitchen that I forgot to reference later? Uh, Had that uh, that fireplace to warm the facility, right? Yeah. Access door for the power generators. We can't just put a chimney in there without a, oh. an actual chimney exit <laughs> for the smoke. Oh, yeah, you're right. It paid off. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. Dave, if you could mod in smoke coming out of that, you would, wouldn't you? Uh, as soon as there's an option, yes. <laughs> as soon as there's an option. Uh, I think I'm going to spawn a couple bad guys to attack because I haven't tried it yet. No, uh, put, a, this put, was... him, put them inside the, uh, put them inside the, yeah, right there. Like a prison riot. Yeah, yeah. Put like put a bunch uh, of prisoners okay. rioting. Here's the plan for our prison riot, Joel. I'm gonna spawn four gunners with weapons. We're just going to say that someone tossed them over the wall and they're trying to start a prison riot and escape. I do have God mode on, but my goal is to just get out, set off the alarm, lock things down. Oh, 
And the turrets begin their good work. <laughs> Let me out of here. I do not want to be in that central area right now. <laughs> I just see lasers flying. <laughs> I regret this insurrection. <laughs> oh, even the back turrets are firing. Oh, they have grenades though, it looks like. Okay, Cyrus Whalen. Guards are attacking. Oh! Oh, Ooh, he just lost his guy. head. Yeah. The morale is going <laughs> down. Wait, is there, there's some guy inside the little... Oh, dude! Oh. It's like war crimes. Oh, dude, there's some guy still in the food. Watch, 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 watch. Him He's like in the... Like, uh, I think that's one of my guards who goes through. Oh, really? Down below? Yeah. They disabled one of the advanced laser turrets up top, but... Yep, could not save him. Oh, that, that was you, Joel. You like, you don't understand. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my gosh, Joel. You murdered. That. <laughs> you monster. Murder. Scared. I do feel like, Joel, that you would be the ones to like help them get those weapons just so you could hop inside the prison wall and murder <laughs> yeah, them all. Yeah, I would. I'd be like, I was in trouble. Like, you're fine. I'll give you a square chance. <laughs> oh, dude, there's just blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Holy dude, crap. It'd be awesome if, like, the doors could slam really close fast, like, slices their arms off. Let's do one more attack. Let's say that they don't realize that their friends have already been massacred, right? And the gunners are like, no, 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 we got this. We're going to we're gonna join in on the fight. We're going to break him out of prison, right? Do you see on top of the containers on the right, Joel, that turret? Yeah. That is a missile turret, so let's give them 12 gunners. Well, no, let's do 10. I have never actually seen more than like 7 yeah. or 8, so we'll do 10. Yeah. Like, you don't see 10 gunners unless you're attacking their bases. <laughs> Sound the alarm, boys! It's go time! Oh, crap. I want out, I want out. There's the gate. Oh, that's awesome. They're firing missiles back at the turrets. Clever girl. I'm gonna use my sniper scope as a spotting scope to watch the fight. Where's the turret we at? Holy crap. I think I like I had that open defense. Oh, we still got some gunners. Oh! Oh! One of my provisioners fighting too out there. One of my supply guys. <laughs> the last man standing right there. Oh, and he's gone. Wait, wait, who's this? Who's this poor fool? <laughs> wait for the missile. I can launch the big butt. I think the launch is reloading right now. Oh, you fool. Oh, there's two. Is the launcher still up? I think it's, it might be damaged finally. But here comes your little provisioner. <laughs> See behind the car shooting. <laughs> oh no, they're getting close to sanctuary they're defenses. The to them. That'd be awesome if they like run back or closer and then the other sanctuary starts shooting them. Yeah, the turrets are looking, but they're not quite within range yet. They're all laughing at Sanctuary. They're all like pulling out pop just enjoying this. Oh. Oh. Oh, they got the, car. the cars. That guy died. My laser turret in the back there is actually... See on top of your shed, Joel? <laughs> Look at your laser Man. turret firing. That guy's definitely like... Oh, I back there. Man. Oh, crap. Sanctuary is active. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> Who's that guy on the right? Who's who's that dude on the right? He's a provisioner heading out from Sanctuary. I think he was hiding <laughs> dude, behind that tree and he's shooting. Not phased at all. <laughs> <He's>, yeah. <laughs> Looked it in the face and said, "Yeah, whatever. What yeah. else you got?" Dude, Codsworth came all the way over here to help. That's awesome. Sanctuary actually reinforced. They saw That's the awesome. flare. Dave, how much does this please you? <laughs> I can't stand up right now. <laughs> Dude, they're going back to Fortress 
Or, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all heading Dude, up to Fortress I, Sanctuary. You can hear your voice. You were, like, so in love right now. I'm so happy. So there you have it, Joel. The last security hole in Sanctuary filled. There's now an entire detention and interview facility to help process new <laughs> settlers. Who are those guys? Uh, that's a few more of uh, Red Rocket staff heading back in. Oh, okay. Changing of the yeah. guard, Joel. Come on, get with it. That was awesome. My well gosh. done, Dave. What I'm working on next is a trading center. Um, it's at, uh, what is it called? <laughs> the Taffington Boathouse. It's going to be a center where I process purified water and sell it at a marked up price across the Commonwealth for income. <laughs> and also a, uh, a stop along the way for my provisioners for all the farming and <laughs> When was the last time you actually played part of the story, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> like main quest? Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you played Fallout since two weeks? Yeah, that would be like 35 hours ago easily. Oh my gosh. That's the last time that I worked on the oh main my story. Oh gosh. That was, that was a piece of a car. Thank you, Dave, for this wonderful tour. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, Wastelanders, stay safe! See you guys next time. <laughs>